Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel and I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create volumetric fog and light rays in 3ds Max and Corona. And to do that we're going to be using the Corona volume material. So the goal is to create something like this forest scene that I created earlier. But before we go ahead and do that, I'd just like to go to a simpler scene so that I can explain the material to you and that way we can do it quicker and you can understand it quicker. Okay, so we're going to go to this basic scene that I've created over here, which is just a standard box with a couple of holes in it, a camera inside and a corona sun and what we need to do now is we need to go and create the material so we can just open up this on this empty slot we have this physical material which we're going to change to a corona volume material click ok then we get this uh, these options over here but before we go into those options we need to go into scene uh, enable global uh, volume material copy this material into this part here instance and now those two are linked next thing we are going to go to is the render elements we are going to click add and we are going to scroll down to volumetrics we're going to click ok now we're going to go back to scene and we're going to go to start interactive okay so we have this scene there's no volumetric effects happening at the moment so what can we do to see these uh, effects well the first thing we need to do is we need to go to color and we're going to choose a color which is somewhere around grayish white and we're going to adjust this parameter over here which controls the density of the fog so we're going to add something around 4000 and we are going to change this color to a white and as simple as that we already have these god rays coming into the room which is pretty awesome so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select this box over here we're going to copy this material over here and just quickly rename it say to number two and we are going to check inside volume we're going to apply it to that green box so at the moment we don't see anything but not to worry friends <laughs> we're going to change this color to say for instance a red color just move this up okay and you can't really see it at the moment but if we reduce this to say 1000 because lower values give you a denser fog and even if we reduce that even more to 500 you'll begin to see this uh, shape forming over here so what we can do is change this color to red as well move this up to there because the density will increase click ok And as you can see, that is starting to look pretty cool. If we go even down further to 50, it's going to become more and more dense. It's not looking like it's more dense because we have this separate element over here that is blocking that. But if we say, for instance, we totally switch this off and go to zero over here, you're going to see that this fog element is almost completely solid so if we go 
put this back up to 500. Wait a little bit, as usual for Max. You can see that the density is going down. So if we 10 times that to 5,000, it's going to re reduce the density even more. So that's what those two do. And then we have this emission over here, which is basically something that makes the fog glow. And if we add uh, basically something like that. So in reality, you probably want to add the same color into there. And that's going to emit a red color. That's more or less what these parameters do. You can also add different maps into here. So for example, if we add a smoke map into there, we could just go and look for smoke. Yes. Go into there. And that is essentially going to give you different patches of density. something like that um, we just add make this go a little bit higher to say a thousand and this is a good way to just break up the fog there you go so in the forest you can have patches of fog uh, lying over the ground okay so this is more or less all you need to know in terms of the Corona volume material. Now we're going to go into the forest scene and we are going to try and achieve the image that we had in the beginning. So we're going to close that. We're going to try and achieve this image now. So here we go. And this is the scene that we have at the moment. This is an Evermotion scene. It was, I think, the 15th anniversary where they, they released a file with a, a little forest with some houses in the background. I've changed the houses to something I designed in the past. Um, but if you want to try with this scene, you can just go to the Evermotion website and type in 15th anniversary uh, tree or forest uh, models, and you can download it there. So essentially all we have to do in this scene is exactly the same thing we did in the basic scene. So what are we gonna do now is we are going to go to render elements, add, volumetrics click OK next we are going to go to scene we're going to go to global volume material again we are going to go to corona volume material click OK and copy this into the same folder as an instance yes I'm going to already start the interactive renderer over here so we don't have to wait so, so wait for such a long time and we are going to start with these uh, parameters over here so we're just going to wait for this to load okay so now that that's loading we can just go to here again a uh, value of around 4000 centimeters seems to be a good uh, a good level and we are going to drop this down to something gray mm, let's say uh, something like that's pretty cool and directionality we are going to go 0 0.85 if you're wondering what the single bounce only is this is uh, a way just to make it calculate a little bit quicker and then let me just have a look over here. That seems to be okay. This one, yeah, I think that that's also looking quite good. 
and that's pretty much all that there is to it so we are already getting some nice fog that's covering these buildings and the light rays coming through the forest it's essentially all you need to do in whatever scene that you are working with is have something that's blocking the direct sunlight that creates those god rays and if we go to render elements that is enabled and we come down to volumetrics over here we can already see these beautiful god rays coming through and if you want to take this to another level you can also try perhaps changing the color of the sunlight um, to a blue maybe reducing the um, the intensity of the environment and you could even create like a moon a moonlit shot that uh, can be pretty cool uh, let's for instance try direct input and we go and make this something like something like this and then we go to the environment and we're just gonna make sure that this is copied into our material slot and we can reduce the intensity of this to something like 0 0.2 and check the volumetrics uh, this looks pretty cool i mean it's quite a moody shot but you could imagine maybe like the witcher walking through this forest and uh, it's that kind of a vibe and you can mix this with your uh with your beauty pass to see what kind of results you get um but uh yeah that's essentially the gist of the corona volume material if that helped you guys please subscribe and i'll see you in the next uh, lesson cheers bye